The next asset which is included in the definition of asset for wealth tax purpose is motor cars. Now you all know that most of the businesses do have some kind of motor cars or the other. Not only businesses, even individuals and all do have a large number of cars. Okay? So these motor cars, whether Indian or imported, which means even if you get it into India from some other country, are included within the definition of asset. Except the one that are used by the assessee in the business of running them on hire. Okay, so let us take the case of someone like a cab agency. Okay, who gives cars on hire. If the cab agency is a company which is forming its accounts, then a motor car will not be included within the definition of asset. Why? Because the cab agency is using the motor car in the business of running them on hire. Right? Now, one thing that you need to note here is that we are making a reference to a motor car. So if there is a truck agency, a truck is what? It's a heavy vehicle. Heavy vehicle. Okay? And it's not a motor car, so trucks and all are not included within the definition of asset under this clause. And the second is held as stock and trade. So let's say you have Maruti, which is the largest manufacturer of motor cars in India. So when Maruti owns a car which is kept it in its showroom or in a factory, then this motor car will not be included as an asset of wealth tax purposes for Maruti. Why? Because Maruti owns it as stock in trade. Right? So let us see certain other cases. Nature of motor car basically refers to a transaction. Now whether or not it is included, that we will see. So the first one that we have here is the case of higher purchase. In case of higher purchase, the car is to be included in the wealth of higher purchaser. In case of leasing, it is to be included in the hands of the leasing company. Okay? Then, if it is for the purpose of business other than hire, it is an asset. Yes. Right? Buses and truck? No. Personal? I'm not going to tell you. You have to find it out for yourself. Jonga and Jeep? No. Why? Because these are heavy vehicles. Okay? Okay, let me tell you about the personal stuff also. It is an asset and it is to be included in wealth tax. Right? So this was all about the motor cars. Just to recapitulate, motor cars are included within the definition of assets. These could be Indian or imported. When we say motor cars, heavy duty vehicles are excluded. And what is also excluded are the following two categories. One, where the assessee uses them in the business of running them on hire and second when these are held as stock in trade by the assessee. In the examples hire purchase you include it with the hire purchaser, leasing in the hands of the company which leases it, business other than hire yes it is an asset, if it is used for personal purposes again it is an asset, buses and truck not included, chonga and jeep not included because in both these cases it is a heavy vehicle and not a motor car for wealth tax purpose.